Florida leads the country in the number of lightning-related deaths this year. SNN's Nicole Somavilla has a closer look. Seven lightning deaths in Florida this year. The most recent, Friday, right here on the Sun Coast. Sarasota resident Fontilla Span taking cover under a gazebo at Coconut and MLK. With 32 lightning deaths in the country, Florida takes the lead. But why? We're a peninsula, you know, we're not landlocked, and so there's always moisture going either from west to east or east to west in the state. Meteorologist Marco Lomano says with our record high temperatures. You have a lot of warm moisture that can rise and then it condenses once it gets up in the atmosphere and you get a lot of rain and storms from it. Sarasota science teacher Bill McCracken says safety tips are standard. Stay away from water, trees, and get inside. But sometimes you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Negative feelers coming down looking for a positive feeler coming back up. And when it makes that connection, that's when you see the, the strike. NASA and the University of Alabama say Orange Tree, Florida is the lightning capital of the country, but they don't get many more storms than Sarasota. And the state as a whole averages, you know, about three, I would say maybe three out of every 10 days, but most of them come between June and August. Just because we'll see less storms doesn't mean we're in the clear. Reporting in Sarasota County, Nicole Somavilla, SNN, the Suncoast News Network.